Um, from school after school after Good going there, down. waste an hour. <laughs> that was telling that. Uh, I'm wasting an hour, grandson, coming over here, and I gotta wait for you a half an hour just so you can get out of school for both of them. And then uh, Fridays, I was taking to go eat. Uh, yeah, I would say let's go eat, you know, lunch. And uh, he goes, Grandpa, what about our tradition? I go, what tradition? This ain't no tradition. <laughs> So it became a tradition, I guess, on Fridays after I picked them up from school. Uh, it was kind of sad when, um, Put a little closer to when uh, Alfred graduated, and then it was just me and Moses. And then um, I told um, Moses, I go, oh, this is the last time of last year. I'm going to be picking you up now. So um, his last day of school, me and him and um, Alfred, we went to go eat lunch. And um, that was our last time for uh, him getting out of school. It was kind of sad, huh? <laughs> but um, no, I'm proud of you, baby. You know that. And uh, you're gonna be a good man, baby. You know I know. Okay. We don't wrap it up. Yes, he got. What do you want to say? First, you got to admit Wait, he wants to say something. I'm your man. You pop a dog. Let him have the mic. Jessica's been waiting. Give him the mic. Okay, okay, you take the mic first. Okay, you got one minute. Okay, you got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. What do you want to say? Come on, pop a dog. Um, my my sister always like um oh I love my sister cause um like she's only like little and I'm taller than like her and then and I always like her and um I really miss my dog cause um my dad just my dog just turned old right now and then and then he just died and then my mom and then I really miss him right now cause. My grandpa died too, and oh and I love him too. Okay, roll. Thank you to everybody. Thank you too. I say congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. Okay. And my and my mom too. I'll try to beat that. I'll try to pull it together. Beat that, Jessica. I'm sorry, Raul. You did a skid job, Raul. Give me a hug. That was so sad. I'm really sad about your dog. All right, um, I'll try to make it quick. Um, but I just want to say also that I'm proud of Moses and it has been a long road and we all raced him together as a family. It was a group effort, um, not just my family, but our church family and his baseball family and all the friends and family we met along the way. Um, but you know, one thing about Moses that set him aside from the other boys was he's always the responsible one. Uh, when they're leaving the house, he'll say, mom, we don't have any garbage bags at the house and he'll go to the, the, the cabinet and get some garbage bags for the house. You know, very much a, a little macho man, a, a little leader. When, um, another time I took them all to Circus Circus and I had a wad, a wad of uh, $100 uh, $100 in dollar bills. And I was thinking maybe I could just divvy it up and give it to all the boys. But I thought, nah, Jacob's likely to just drop the whole wad. But, you know, <laughs> Alfred, I don't know if you can handle all that much money, but Moses, I know, I can trust him with the whole wad. So I told him, Moses, I'm going to give you this money, and when I give it to you, you don't pull out all the money. You keep it in your pocket, and you just pull one dollar out at a time. And, yeah, he was, he, was, he was the one responsible for all the money, but, you know, that's always how, he, how he's been, the one that I could trust to go to the ice cream man and give them $10 and know that he's going to say, no, I should be getting give this much money back when the other boys would just give their money and take, walk off and not care what change they get. <laughs> but um, he's always been that way, you know. He's been a, he always been a little bit of, uh, you know, independent, uh, resilient. You should have been your kid, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't really blessed to be a, a baseball mom and all that stuff, but Moses, Sorry. <laughs> Moses uh, fulfilled those dreams for me. But, um, you know, I only have one son, that's J Jacob, so thankfully Belinda shared her boys with me. And we had, we had to share everything growing up, so we had to share our sons, too. Very <laughs> fair. But um, I'm very proud of you, Moses, and I'm uh, happy to see what comes next. 
and I'm thankful that I was able to be such a big part in your life and teach you things, teach you how to pitch a tent and build fires and, you know, just random things that he, he would always want to learn and he's always open to, to learning and whenever he did something, he always do, does it his best. He takes pride in his work. You know, some some of the, sometimes when the other boys do things, they do exactly what you ask, no more, no less. But Moses will always go that extra mile and, you know, and sweep, and sweep up after he does the yard. You know, he, he takes pride in his work and he always, um, you know, does his best and whatever it is that he does. So um, I'm proud of you and um, can't wait to see what the future holds for you, baby. I never do it like that. And R.I.P. to Raul's dog. <laughs> Would anyone like to go next before Moses says something? No. Mario! 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 Before we go on, I just want to give a special congratulations to two more graduates that are here. And that's um, Carlos Rodriguez just graduated from high school. Grandpa. Uh, just use the microphone. Everyone that helped, I appreciate it. Uh, thank guys for coming. What about Grandpa? I can hear you. Oh, Grandpa, give me some money too. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Are all of you guys here? Thank you. Um, yeah. Say thank you, everyone, for coming. Yeah. 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 